Hello, happy Saturday. I hope you're all having a nice relaxing time at home. Um, I had a very powerful message come through today from my family or team of light. It was longer than usual and it was a, for a collective message. So what I'm actually going to do differently in this video is I actually just typed it out um, and I'm going to read it to you because I feel like the words are going are very powerful and are going to resonate very deeply. And so I do recommend and they do as well to have a journal and pen for this, write down anything that pops out and then obviously pause or replay or rewatch multiple times because there's certain words in here or resonation ideas that are going to basically click or switch on different parts of your um, light body in order to help with this whole craziness that's going on right now. Um, you don't have to fully understand even what that meant, but again, just rewatch, replay, re-listen to anything that you feel like is resonating for you. So I just asked collective message for a collective message. Here we go. We are always here, dear ones. You are not alone. Most importantly, you as a collective are not alone. You are currently sitting in a state of bewilderment, a state of unified distance from one another, and are now in the process of discovering what that means or feels like to you. It is a time to turn within, to turn inside yourself. Many may confuse this new feeling of confusion or bewilderment with fear. They will identify with the fear rather than seeing a layer beneath the fear, which is simply confusion of the unknown. This is a natural human reaction to identify with fearing the unknown. Switch to the perspective of, I am confused and that is okay. It can seem scary. Never judge yourself for this natural emotion. But now is a time of using your natural born free will to choose what you would like to focus upon. Every single being on this planet Earth has been born with the gift of free will. Your free will can never be touched, can never be harmed or weakened or taken away from you. Your free will allows you to choose who you are, who you have come here to be. Allow this realization to wash over you, to expand around you stronger than ever before. Your free will is unbreakable and no amount of fear can ever take that away from you. It has always been much easier to hold on to the familiar. You have heard the saying, for one door to open, another must close. What does that mean to you? Realize, dear ones, that humanity as a collective is now experiencing what this means to them. This is a collective experience of closing one door in order to open another for a reset. You are experiencing a reset. Ask yourself now, how will, how will you greet each new now moment from here on out? Be accommodating. Use your free will choice of how you would like to move forward. Learning to accommodate with new ideas or beliefs does not require you to dishonor all of your past beliefs, but simply to expand them. This planet, Mother Earth, is asking each of you to expand, and we are here to help accommodate to this. Turn within. Take three deep breaths. Notice the first piece of information that comes to you. An emotion, a feeling, image, or an understanding of something you have been asking for. This is us speaking to you. We are now collectively residing inside each of your hearts. We've never left and we never will. This is the time to discover that power. This is the time you have all been waiting for. It is no longer a dress, a dress rehearsal. This is the live action accommodation to a collective reset. When you choose to expand within yourself, rather than focusing on the outside world or what's outside of you, you immediately step into a higher level of consciousness. You step into a higher level of integrity that is needed now more than ever. Learning to adjust to situations such as this one is a way of allowing a situation its own right of expression without judgment. This is a reset. You are one with this earth. And when she resets, you reset. It is the law of nature, and it is so much easier and simpler to flow with her rather than against. This is the time to put aside your past feelings about this in order to properly, properly handle what is being asked of you. We are asking that you build a deeper level of communication with yourself. 
be open to learning and knowing the truth in all things. Ask yourself, why not? Or what if? Please remember, there is a much higher agenda happening here. This current reality is one that your collective has never experienced before. It is all happening from the same cause, the virus, but you may be experiencing it in different ways. Choose love, choose light. They are your strongest allies at a time like this and have a power far greater than you may ever comprehend. A high level of bewilderment or confusion has been placed into the grid on a massive scale which you may have tapped into or, or are currently tapping into. It may feel dense or create more confusion, but please don't confuse that with fear. So don't confuse confusion with fear. <laughs> it is okay to be confused. You are meant to have all of your human emotions and to still move forward with love. The human gift of multitasking in regards to emotions is a gift that many of you take for granted. I just wanna let you all know when I was channeling that part, um, they were laughing. They think it, they are very entertained by the fact that how humans take for granted the uh, gift of being able to multitask or to feel multiple feelings at once and realize you can still move forward even if you're feeling the fear or the sadness or any sort of emotion, you can still move forward. Sometimes we get stuck, so they think that's pretty entertaining. <laughs> um, okay, back to them. The collective energy is being reset and cleansed. The dark is being forced out and it won't go out without a fight. This is what you are currently feeling. You are feeling the darkness holding on as tight as it can, but it has no choice to leave and be transmuted back to its original form. This has already been done from our perspective. Breathe into this realization, the safety. Anchor the understanding that the light is up leveling on a collective level, beginning with the human race and expanding into our galaxy. This is where it all begins. Beautiful Earth, Mother Gaia, is where the great awakening begins for all of us on a galactic scale. We are forever grateful for the sacrifice that every one of you has made to be on Earth at, a, at this time. It is for a reason. You are for a reason. You are needed, every single one of you. This is happening exactly as it is meant to. Use your free will choice to greet each new moment with positivity, love, and light. The reset will allow your higher vibrational choices such as that to catapult you into alignment with your divine purpose faster than ever before. The grid is lightening as this darkness evaporates. Manifestation is now expanding at a rapid rate. Let go of what you feel yourself attempting to hold on to you will very soon see what has been growing for you on the other side. Cultivate stillness. Reflect, reflect, reflect. See with the eyes of love. With unconditional love and light, we love you, your family of light. Okay, so that was their message. Um, again, very powerful. There's a lot of up-leveling, a lot of uprooting, a lot of bringing the hidden agendas, the darkness into the light in order to be transmuted and the darkness is freaking out basically. So just hold tight, keep those vibes high, keep that love high, keep sharing that love with one another. Um, we're needed now more than ever to be supporting each other, not to separate. Um, and I really liked how they were making us realize it's just a confusion we're feeling. It's not fear. Of course, there's a fear at a certain level, but it's just something new and new things seem scary. And so we're confusing that confusion with fear. So just realize that's okay, but look at it from that perspective um, and just be very open. They were showing me the whole time I was channeling this, they are constantly sending waves of love to every single one of us. Um, they know the hardship that this is going to feel like or that this feels like for us as the darkness is being um, let go of on this earth. So things will not be the same after this and it's an exciting, very exciting time. The Great Awakening is happening. Um, and so just to breathe into that and to be excited about that and to just love one another. So it's our time to shine. I love you all so much. I'll talk to you soon.